just had an itch on my nose right when I started recording. Anyways, we're all human here. <laughs> um, hi Virgo, welcome to your March 29th to April 4th reading. Um, I'm going to have to apologize here because I am feeling a little scatterbrained. Um, the videos that I recorded yesterday, I have to say the same thing. And I thought today the feeling would go away, but I feel like, I don't even know what the feeling is, but I'm kind of all over the map. So you're going to have to bear with me. Um, just want to say, uh, and I will be bringing this up in my bonus reading. Things have been fucked for a lot of people the last couple weeks. So if you are feeling this, you're not alone. Um, just a lot of like, a lot of stress, a lot of weird shit happening. Even, I, I mean, I'm getting a ton of clients calling me, um, for emergency readings. I'm getting brand new people calling me for emergency readings, like shit's fucked up. So just letting you know. Oh, we got some flyer cards. Okay. We'll look at those in a second. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look at the week ahead. I hope this chaos is over with. That would be great. Um, yeah, let's take a look. I even talked about it on Instagram. So many people were like, oh my God, I feel it too. Like, it's crazy. Follow me on Instagram, by the way. <laughs> um, okay, Virgo, let's see what's up. Okay, that feels good. Okay. okay, what do we got here? Okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's see what's up. Looks like I have a weird, like, beehive on my head. Anyways, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This isn't about my looks. Makeup's on point, though. <laughs> um, okay. I told you I'm scatterbrained. Okay. So let's talk about your flat flyer cards. Uh, so we had three cards. You saw them fly out right at the beginning there. We have the Emperor, the High Priestess, and the Four of Swords. Uh, and I do feel, I don't know. Let's see if this kind of mixes in with everything else. But I almost feel like this is a separate issue. I almost feel like this is something that... Um, is I don't say I don't think so much as a secret as maybe a personal issue so you won't be sharing it with other people maybe not even a partner or the rest of your family I don't know but there is something about a father figure coming up so this could be I mean you you could take this so many ways it could be a it could be a mentor it could be a father figure to you it could be a father figure to your kids um, but some, it could be a boss, like it could, it just think father figure. And I feel like whatever the issue is or whatever you're going through with this, um, first of all, uh, no knee jerk reactions, no, um, um, no flying off the handle, I guess. Like, uh, you are being asked to rest, repose, and think before you act or speak. And also, with the high priest is coming up, it's just really showing me that this is very much something that you keep close to your heart. And it's not something that you need advice from other people about. So if you're compelled to go to your friends and be like, what should I do? I don't know if that's going to help you. You need to do what's right for you, Virgo. So that's that. Um, you are, you're going through kind of a weird transition right now. So one moment. I need my coffee to keep me on track here. Um, it's, 
it feels a little chaotic. So we have the Fool coming up as the first card. And the Fool, I mean, it's the number zero card in the deck. Meaning it's not just a new beginning, it's like the ultimate new beginning. And this guy, you can see him, he's walking dangerously close to the end of a cliff, but he's very happy, content. He's living the life in the sun with his little doggy. Um... And I think you can feel that energy, Virgo. I feel like you know you're you're moving into like a new, a new chapter, something new. Um, but I feel like you are also distracted. We've got the Seven of Cups coming up, and this card. I mean, you see this guy. He can't make up his mind what he wants to do, um, and he can't make a choice. And I almost feel like you are being distracted with like other stuff too you may be being distracted you might be distracting yourself with like going out with your friends drinking doing that kind of stuff um which is fine like you you're allowed to let off some fucking steam virgo um but yeah i feel like there is a part of you that might be um just procrastinating because there, there are some decisions to be made no pressure or anything um you need to understand too i don't think you give yourself enough credit we've got the nine of pentacles coming up at the base of this reading and this is just telling me like you are an entrepreneur you are a badass bitch you're a badass wait what's the male equivalent badass guy um but you you have your shit together so um it's like I, it's almost as if you're you're procrastinating you're you're maybe like trying to um put off making some decisions that need to be made but really like you're the only one putting this pressure on yourself does that make sense it's like you're trying to avoid the pressure that's on you but the pressure itself is coming from you so chill the fuck out Chill the fuck out. You're going to be fine, okay? So, um, yeah. So whatever it is, whatever you need to deal with, just it's going to be fine. You've got this. You will figure it out. You'll be fine. Um, when it comes to your love life, uh, honestly, it's like, uh, I feel like it's 50-50. I feel like moving forward, things are pretty good. Okay. However, you might be going through a week where things aren't so pretty good. Um, there is some sense of feeling betrayed. There is some sense of, you got to catch yourself there, Virgo, because I almost feel like there's also a tendency to want to, uh, you're not putting yourself first, I guess you could say like you're a little too worried about your partner and your partner's needs and you need to make sure you are practicing self care this week. So don't forget that. Um, and also, I think uh, they're also for relationships there. This, and this, don't like freak out when I tell you this. But I feel like there could be some delays for future plans. So what I mean by that is maybe you were expecting to get engaged by a certain time. Maybe you were waiting to or yeah, waiting to move in together or something. Um, again, don't put too much pressure on yourself or the relationship. Everything will be just fine. Delays. That is uh, definitely a common theme here. Delays, delays, delays. But things still will be okay. Like, I feel like, too, that there's something, there's a lot of pentacles that just came up. Uh, so I feel like there might be delays in a class you want to take. There might be delays in, like, a project or, like, a financial, some kind of an endeavor that you wanted to do. I feel like there are delays. But, um also, like, there's something, again, with relationship, family, unity, that kind of thing. I feel like there's delays there, too. But, like, don't freak out. It's just delayed. It doesn't mean it's not going to happen. Um, just be 
conscious of that, I guess. But all in all, like everything's going to be okay. Again, you put the worst pressure on yourself. So just lighten up a little bit, Virgo. This is actually one of the better, probably the best reading so far this week because a lot of them have been fucked. <laughs> so, um, yes. Um... Don't forget, if you are looking for an extended love reading or an extended uh, career reading, my April readings are available on Vimeo and I have the links for those in the description under uh, this video. So Virgo, chill out a little bit. Things are going to be okay. So be good, be safe, and I will see you next week. So bye for now. Ooh, and like and subscribe and also follow me on um. Instagram. Thank you. Bye.